Woe unto you, false prophets of America! Woe unto you who prophesy your own things! Woe unto you, you prophets of America, you who have caused the people who go by my name to err! Woe unto you who speak lies to the people, you who strengthen the hands of evil! Woe unto you, for your hour has come also. The land is defiled by your lips, which have spoken falsehood and crafty covetousness. The soil of America has growing in it the weeds of lies and hypocrisy. Your proud words have defiled the soil of the hearts of the inhabitants of this nation. In your pride you have thought in your hearts, we will deliver ourselves with our words. Come, let us teach the people these things and gain us a kingdom. Your message has become like a cancer. Woe unto you for misleading in my name. Indeed, you have in my name prophesied vanity and sensuality, lies of the enemy, saying, Peace, peace, prosperity, eat, drink, and be merry, ye servants of God. Serve the Lord by serving yourself. And also you do say, Buy, 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 consume, consume, and heap up for yourself treasure in the last days. You also twist my words and tell the unrepentant and wicked heart, saying, Ye are righteous and holy and worthy. Yea, ye deserve to drink the wine of wealth and eat the bread of Molech and live like a god in the earth. With many such things you have used flattering lips to fatten the hearts of these Americans. With many such things you have seduced them with the wine of false delight. Woe to you, for you have said buy when I have spoken sell. Woe to you, for you have said go when I have spoken stay. And you have spoken saying stay when I have said go. Woe to you, false prophets of America, for your sins have reached the heavens. You have strengthened sin in the land. You scoff and you speak of my servants, those who were and those that are now. They are false prophets. They wish to bring us into bondage. They have spoken wrong teaching. They lie in wait to kill us. Again, you say of my men servants and my maid servants, they prophesy by Baal, they practice lies and will be judged for their blasphemy. Yet you know not, yet you believe not, that you speak these things to your own shame. You have formed and fashioned your own God and put my name, yes, even my name on him. You hide behind a perverted love and adhere to a grace that is not grace, but indeed is lewdness and lasciviousness. You have denied my faith. You have allured through the lusts of the flesh, the weak, the ignorant, the deceived, the oppressed. Woe to you, for as cowardly wolves you had lied with your harlotry and profaned this land with your wickedness. You stand so proud of your New Age Gospel, which is not a gospel at all. You offer the nations all that I have paid dues for to liberate them from. You snakes who slither in your slime of corruption, woe unto you, for even now you scoff, saying the words of a devil, the words of foolish flesh. You will see whom I have loved. I say to you, you tell of a land dripping with honey and flowing with wine. You tell of a path that is broad and wide, and, and do say of it, it is the narrow way. You tell these people, strive not to enter in, for the way is easy. Come now, toil and spend no more, fight no more, for we were bought at a price and need not worry. The war has been won. Let us now be kings and priests. Let the heathen serve us. Whoever opposes us, let him be accursed. Woe unto you, prophets of America! Have you no fear of the Lord in your hearts? You have twisted my words and the words of my holy men of old to your own damnation. You have offered a salvation that is not my salvation. You have offered a covenant that is not my covenant. What shall we do now? For now we send our servants, yes, even our servants into the field, and the sheep of this fold are confused. They know not whose voice to follow. Woe unto you, for the hour is coming, and now is that in my great loving kindness and mercy I will show them of whose voice to hearken unto. My sheep will follow me. I will perform these things. I, in these last days, I the Lord will make many white and without blemish before me. I will refine many and make your trash my treasure. I will uphold my people and the spreaders of gangrene are outside. I will show that my word is true and that I change not. You false prophets of America will gnash your teeth with murder in your hearts at my reproof. 
ye will hate correction as you do now, and will not humble yourself, yet in all these things you will not return to your first love. You have loved lawlessness and hated righteousness. You have genetically modified my words in the earth, and yet even if you would turn away from your evil doings, would I not forgive your trespasses? But you would not. Woe to you, for your tormentor shall come for you as you merge with the world spirit. You have despised the examples from of old. You have cast off the warning of Balaam. You have cast off my words and are filled with the poison of bitterness and lust. You eat daily the bread of pride and drink the wine of iniquity. You know not what I shall do in these days. Know you not that to whom you present yourselves, slaves to obey, you are that one slaves whom you obey. You have not presented yourself to me, prophets of America, but indeed you have presented yourself to sin. You prophets of America have left me no choice. I must reestablish my truth, my word, my righteousness. I will not contend with your lies. I am the Lord. Besides me, there is no other. No, I will prove in my great mercy that the Lord is God and that my word, all things that I say are true and are not a lie. For you prophets of America, this is calamity. For you are brought low. I will perform these things.